In vector calculus, the Jacobian matrix is the matrix of all first-order partial derivatives of a vector-valued function. Specifically, suppose is a function. Such a function is given by m real-valued component functions. The partial derivatives of all these functions with respect to the variables can be organized in an m by n matrix, the Jacobian matrix of, as follows. This matrix, whose entries are functions of, is also denoted by and. The Jacobian matrix is important because if the function f is differentiable at a point, then the Jacobian matrix defines a linear map, which is the best linear approximation of the function f near the point p. This linear map is thus the generalization of the usual notion of derivative, and is called the derivative or the differential of f at p. In the case the Jacobian matrix is a square matrix, and its determinant, a function of, is the Jacobian determinant of f. It carries important information about the local behavior of f. In particular, the function f is locally in the neighborhood of a point p in inverse function that is differentiable if and only if the Jacobian determinant is non-zero at p. The Jacobian determinant occurs also when changing the variables in multivariable integrals. If m equals 1, the Jacobian matrix has a single row, and may be identified with a vector, which is the gradient. These concepts are named after the mathematician Carl Gustav Jacob Jacobi. A simple example, consider the function given by. Then we have. And. And the Jacobian matrix of F is. And the Jacobian determinant is. Jacobian matrix. The Jacobian generalizes the gradient of a scalar-valued function of multiple variables, which itself generalizes the derivative of a scalar-valued function of a single variable. In other words, the Jacobian for a scalar-valued multivariable function is the gradient and that of a scalar-valued function of single variable is simply its derivative. The Jacobian can also be thought of as describing the amount of stretching, rotating, or transforming that a transformation imposes locally. For example, if is used to transform an image, the Jacobian of, describes how the image in the neighborhood of is transformed. If a function is differentiable at a point, its derivative is given in coordinates by the Jacobian, but a function doesn't need to be differentiable for the Jacobian to be defined, since only the partial derivatives are required to exist. If p is a point in Rn and f is differentiable at p, then its derivative is given by jf, p. In this case, the linear map described by jf, p, is the best linear approximation of f near the point p, in the sense that for x close to p and where o is the little o notation and is the distance between x and p. Compare this to a Taylor series for a scalar function of a scalar argument, truncated to first order. In a sense, both the gradient and Jacobian of first derivatives are euro the former the first derivative of a scalar function of several variables, the latter the first derivative of a vector function of several variables. The Jacobian of the gradient of a scalar function of several variables has a special name, the Hessian matrix, which in a sense is the second derivative of the function in question. Jacobian determinant, if m equals n, then f is a function from n space to n space and the Jacobian matrix is a square matrix. We can then form its determinant, known as the Jacobian determinant. The Jacobian determinant is sometimes simply called the Jacobian. The Jacobian determinant at a given point gives important information about the behavior of f near that point. For instance, the continuously differentiable function f is invertible near a point p or rn if the Jacobian determinant at p is non-zero. This is the inverse function theorem. Furthermore, if the Jacobian determinant at p is positive, then f preserves orientation near p. If it is negative, f reverses orientation. The absolute value of the Jacobian determinant at p gives us the factor by which the function f expands or shrinks volumes near p. This is why it occurs in the general substitution rule. The Jacobian determinant is used when making a change of variables when evaluating a multiple integral of a function over a region within its domain. To accommodate for the change of coordinates the magnitude of the Jacobian determinant arises as a multiplicative factor within the integral. 
This is because the n-dimensional dV element is in general a parallelepiped in the new coordinate system, and the n-volume of a parallelepiped is the determinant of its edge vectors. The Jacobian can also be used to solve systems of differential equations at an equilibrium point or approximate solutions near an equilibrium point. Inverse, according to the inverse function theorem, the matrix inverse of the Jacobian matrix of an invertible function is the Jacobian matrix of the inverse function. That is, if the Jacobian of the function f, rn and rn is continuous and non-singular at the point p in rn, then f is invertible when restricted to some neighborhood of p and. Conversely, if the Jacobian determinant is not zero at a point, then the function is locally invertible near this point, that is there is neighborhood of this point, in which the function is invertible. The Jacobian conjecture is related to global invertibility in the case of a polynomial functions, that is a function defined by n polynomials in n variables. It asserts that, if the Jacobian determinant is a non-zero constant, then the function is invertible and its inverse is a polynomial function. Critical points F is a differentiable function, a critical point of F is a point where the rank of the Jacobian matrix is not maximal. This means that the rank at the critical point is lower than the rank at some neighbor point. In other words, let K be the maximal dimension of the open balls contained in the image of F. Then a point is critical if all minors of rank K of F are zero. In the case where M equals N equals K, a point is critical if the Jacobian determinant is zero. Further examples, example 1. The Jacobian determinant is equal to. This shows how an integral in the Cartesian coordinate system is transformed into an integral in the polar coordinate system. Example 2. The transformation from spherical coordinates to Cartesian coordinates, is given by the function f, r plus a, 0, a euro a, 0, 2 a euro a 3 with components. The Jacobian matrix for this coordinate change is. The determinant is a 2 sin i. As an example, since dv equals dx1 dx2 dx3 this determinant implies that the differential volume element dv equals a 2 sin i dr dd. Nevertheless this determinant varies with coordinates. Example 3. The Jacobian matrix of the function f, r3 r4 with components. Is. This example shows that the Jacobian need not be a square matrix. Example 4. The Jacobian determinant of the function f, r3 r3 with components. Is. From this we see that f reverses orientation near those points where x1 and x2 have the same sign. The function is locally invertible everywhere except near points where x1 equals 0 or x2 equals 0. Intuitively, if one starts with a tiny object around the point and apply f to that object, one will get a resulting object with approximately 40a, 1a, 2 equals 80 times the volume of the original one. Other uses the Jacobian serves as a linearized design matrix in statistical regression and curve fitting. See nonlinear least squares. Dynamical systems Consider a dynamical system of the form x equals f, x, where x is the time derivative of x, and f, rn and rn is continuous and differentiable. If f, xo, equals zero, then xo is a stationary point. The behavior of the system near a stationary point is related to the eigenvalues of Jf, Xo, the Jacobian of F at the stationary point. Specifically, if the eigenvalues all have real parts that are less than zero, then the system is stable near the stationary point. If any eigenvalue has a real part that is greater than zero, then the point is unstable. If the largest real part of the eigenvalues is equal to zero, the Jacobian matrix does not allow for an evaluation of the stability. Newton's method, a system of coupled nonlinear equations can be solved iteratively by Newton's method. This method uses the Jacobian matrix of the system of equations. See also, Hessian matrix, push forward, references. External links, Haswinkel, Mikiel, ed., Jacobian, Encyclopedia of Mathematics, Springer, ISBN A 978-1-55608-010-4A, Mathworld A More Technical Explanation of Jacobians.